Well, hello everybody. <laughs> it's me again. Uh, I want to do a follow up. Gary, uh, Gary Silver Amps just did a, a beautiful, a beautiful video, and I, I like everybody. And I'll put a, I'll put a, a information. Uh, just well, I'll just go to Gary's, Gary Gary um, Silver Amps on 3D printing, and he's done a, uh, where he is at Edinburgh, uh, one of the top universities in the in the world, by the way. Uh, where where they cloned the first uh, the first uh, sheep, uh, but he's working with uh, stem cell research, and they're working with methods. And a matter of fact, I just read an article yesterday in a, a science magazine how they are now having the ability to lay these uh, stem cells. Um, uh, well, whatever they decide to to uh, uh, make from them, whether it's livers or kidneys or whatever. Uh, they now found the ability to lay them down in layers and and keep them viable, and that was one of the big problems. Uh, it wasn't laying them down, but it was keeping keeping everything viable until until uh, the whole product, uh, the three D, whatever you were printing, was done. But Gary uh, Gary covers all that, and I think uh, you ought to really go take a look at them. But what I wanted to talk about is the other other uses of three D printing, and one is medical. For years and years um, they've been uh, using ultrasound but they can only make an ultrasound uh, the device uh, so small because it has to be perfectly smooth there can't be any bumps in it and the echo chamber has to be uh, such a, a stringent strict design in order in order for the microprocessor to uh, uh, interpret the echoes that are coming back to, to show your organs and so forth. Well what happened was that uh, they found that the only stuff they re really could use were <clears throat> were ceramics, <clears throat> but often uh, in the larger in the larger ones they had, they had to. There he goes. God damn it! I tell him I'm I tell him I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna make something and he's got to come into the picture every time. Uh, but uh, excuse me. Uh, so. What happened was that uh, they had to have joints with these ceramics, and where this, the two pieces of ceramic came together, they had to grind them down, and in the, pro in the process, it, it uh, made it very difficult because of the different chambers, you, you could only get down to a certain level uh, in size before you could no longer get in and grind it perfectly. So what happens with 3D printing is that you can make this any size you want. There is no grinding, there is no chain, no joining of chambers, there is just the chamber. There is nothing wasted. That's another thing that's beautiful about 3D printing. Say you want a, a little block for a, for a little motor. You don't start with a block and drill it out. You just build what you need. There is absolutely, it's compost, they, or comp, 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 yeah. it's putting together uh, material rather than taking it away. So there is absolutely no wasted material. And the materials you can use are, are well now they're fine, they're getting more and more. I mean, they can be metal, they can be glass, they can be, they can be plastic, you know, and, and, and then they're gonna turn out where they can also probably be cells. So it's it's gonna be a, a tremendous field. And, and of course the ceramics. Well, what happened, get back to the ceramic story, is they can make these any size they want now. And so they can, they can make an ultrasound that that a first responder would able be able to carry in his pocket. So he could put this ultrasound on you while you're still in the car. Uh, you know, if you're if you're in a car wreck or something, and then he can uh, send that information directly back to the hospital, and the doctor can say, "Well, don't move him quite yet. This has to be done, or whatever." Or they can send this information as they're as they're taking the patient back to the hospital and and then everybody will be more prepared because they'll know exactly what has to be done to save this person's life so that's one aspect of it but then the the airline industry is going crazy because now they can make entire models out of out of this uh, without any rivets or anything so there's no drag what they're doing now is they're trying to make bigger and bigger machines so they can make entire wings for airplanes and, and they use nanoparticles and, and the carbon fiber and it's much stronger. They have no, there is no waste. As I say, there is no weak point 
because there are no rivets. There's no wind resistance when the when it, when it goes over the wing because there's no rivet there. That that they're going to be doing tremendous things. Now one of the setbacks. Well, here, here here's an example. The other day, uh, well, I as you know, I read a lot of science magazines. The other day there was a, a magazine, uh, and I've been. Uh, talking about this for years, that if you wanted a carburetor for your 34 Ford, they couldn't 3D printing could now make it. Well, what happened? Jay Leno was in one of the science articles where he had, had purchased the machine, they were about 50,000 bucks. You can get them, you can get them now for under a thousand. Uh, they won't do what Leno's does, I can guarantee it. But now, instead of having to worry about running, running off and looking every junkyard uh, in California, or having someone have to machine it, that 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 uh, he can have one made himself and once he makes one then that information is all digitized and he can send that information anywhere now that is where the new problems begin because there are people out there now that want to take this information and they want to form a clearinghouse and they want everybody to go through this clearinghouse I hope that doesn't sound familiar but so that so that they get a piece of the pie and this information is protected. Well, that's going to be, that's going to hold a lot of 3D uh, printing work uh, back for a while till they get those issues resolved. But believe me, this 3D printing is where everything is, is headed. But the problem with it is it's not a big job creator because all you need is a technician to run the computer. The machine does all the work. You know, you, uh, you don't have to run out and get this part or that part, but but just imagine if you needed a part, a, a machine, and you had, and the only place to get a machine today because of our lack of skills here and our lack of machine shops might be in China. That you might have to wait two, three weeks, or a month, or even longer than that for a part. Whereas uh, if someone else had already had that part made, you could just get the program and make the make the part right on right on the spot, and it would save you all that transportation cost, and that's going to be a big help too because when you can send something over over the wire electronically as opposed to having to ship it you know and, ha and put it in a plane or put it in a boat or whatever that's that's going to cut these costs way down and it's going to, going to put a real uh, boot in the ass of big oil so uh, please by all means uh, uh, follow, go, go and see uh, uh, Gary Silver Ounce and, and watch his video and leave a comment and assure him that, that uh, he'll be getting a lot more subs and followers in the future because he sure deserves it. Very smart, very smart uh, guy. And, and he's both still in talking about silver and, and will be talking about what he, the work he's doing in Edinburgh. And I certainly appreciate it. I appreciate the, the fact that, uh, that uh, He's humbled himself <laughs> to come down and talk to me. <laughs> so we we Skype. Uh, uh, well, we've Skyped a couple of times, and and I think we'll try to Skype at least once a week. But very nice guy, very smart guy. So all of you out there, three D printing, and almost every science magazine has an article on it. Just go, just go to YouTube or Google and put in three D printing, and you will not believe the things they've already made. They have made gear casings that that make the anti-catherian device look simple they i mean it's just unbelievable what uh, the mind of man now can create uh, which he could not create before uh, uh, using just machinists so i want to thank you for your time and please leave a comment and by all means uh, go visit uh, gary's silver ounce you'll you won't regret it because he's going to give you a lot of information in the future